Hi there and welcome to another video from Mr Hegarty. Um, it's a GCSE Maths Revision video and it's the eighth video I've made to help you revise quickly and effectively for mocks and coming up to your GCSE exam. We're talking about Pythagoras in this video. Just to summarise, you may want to pause and read this to make sure you understand the purpose of these videos. In summary, to, they're to very quickly recap a topic and to allow you some practice. Mainly at grade grade B and C topics just for now, just to get the, uh, the easiest marks on the paper. They're not supposed to be in depth. Look at the website for more in depth videos. Make a revision card from the examples I go through and on the back of that revision card, try the exam questions I point you towards. Right, Pythagoras' theorem. Let's talk about when you use Pythagoras. Both these pictures are examples of Pythagoras. Let's talk about when. Firstly, when the question involves a triangle. Okay. Secondly, in both these questions, you know two of the lengths. So you're given two sides. Thirdly, what are you asked? You're asked to find the missing length. So it's when you've got two sides and you're asked to find the missing length. So the myth missing length is your question mark. Lastly, it will usually say drawn to scale. Uh, not drawn to scale, sorry. The diagram will say not drawn to scale, so you're just aware that this isn't a question where you can get your ruler out and measure. So not drawn to scale. Okay, so they're the conditions when you're going to use Pythagoras. You've got a triangle, and I forgot to say, how could I forget this? It must be a right angled triangle. It must have a 90 degrees in it. For example, here and here. So it's a right angle triangle, you are given two side lengths, you are asked to find the missing length, it says not drawn to scale. Here's your Pythagoras. There are two cases. Case one, the longest side is always opposite the right angle. So this one's always the longest. And so in this case, the 20 is the longest. The others, we're just going to call them the shorter. So in this case here, we're asked to work out the shorter. Okay, now BC is the longest side. When we're asked to work out the longest, maybe give it a name, call it X. And what you do is you take the other two sides, the biggest one first and the smallest one next. You square both those numbers, you add those numbers to get those squares together, and you square root. So get your calculator out, press square root first. 9 squared, add 6 squared, press equals. Press the SD button to get the decimal, 10.81665. So you write down x is equal to 10.81665. In this question, you're asked to 1dp. So you put a line after the first decimal place. Because that's a 1, you leave this as it is. So x would be equal to 10.8. Don't forget your units, centimetres. That's your answer. Okay, this one we're asked to work out the shorter side. When it's the shorter, i.e. not the one opposite the right angle, it's a very similar procedure. Call it x, and to work it out, write your two sides down, the biggest one first, the smallest one second, square them as before, but this time, shorter, s for subtract, subtract the two, and square root them. So get your calculator out, type in square root, 20 squared, subtract 4 squared, press equals, sd. 19.5959. So x is equal to 19.5959, I think we got. And we want to round this to three significant figures. There's the first, the second, the third. Line after it. That 9 makes this go up 1. So the answer would be x is equal to 19.6, the unit, centimetres. And we're done. So Pythagoras. Right angle triangles, you have two sides, you want to work out the third one. If you're doing the longest side, take the two sides, square them, add them, square root them. If you're work working out one of the shorter sides, you take the two sides, square the bigger one first, take away the smaller one squared, and square root that answer. Make sure you round appropriately. So that is all there is for Pythagoras' theorem. So I'm going to show you three exam questions. The first two, I'll give you 10 seconds, then I'll go through. The next one, I'll give you another 10 seconds, then I'll go through. Here are the first two. Pause the video.
Okay, in this question, we're asked to work out the length of xz to three significant figures. That's this one. We are given a right angle triangle. We have two sides. It's Pythagoras. Call this, say, x. We're working the longest side because it's opposite the right angle. So x is going to be equal to, write the two sides down, the biggest one first, 3.25 and 1.35. Square both of them. Add them because you're working out the longest side and square root. Calculator comes out. Type in square root, 3.25 squared, add 1.35 squared equals 3.51923. X is equal to 3.51923. Like that. And then we're going to round to 3SF. First SF, the second, the third, line after this one. That 9 makes that a 2. So X would be 3.52 and the unit meters underline your work. There'd be three marks for that. Next one. Well, in this case, you're asked to, you've got two sides. It's a right angle triangle. You're asked to work out the length of BC to 3SF. BC is this one. It's one of the shorter sides. It's not the longer one, which is opposite the right angle. So call it X. X is going to equal, write your bigger one down, 13. Write your six down. Square them. Because it's the shorter, subtract them and square root. Calculator out. Square root 13 squared. Take away 6 squared equals uh, and press the SD. 11.53256. X is 11.53256. And then we wanted it to 3SF. The first SF, the second, the third. Line after this. That 3 keeps this the same. So X is equal to 11.5 the unit centimeters and we're done okay there's one more exam question on pythagoras it's in context let's see if you can do this pause the video in 10 seconds i'm going to go through it okay so we've got a ladder is six uh, uh, meters long the ladder is placed, uh, is placed on the horizontal ground resting against a vertical wall. So draw a picture. There's the ground, there's the vertical wall. Write in what you've got. This is your ground, and your vertical wall means it's at right angles to the horizontal ground. So make sure you draw it like that. This clearly is going to be a right angle, like that. And this, we said, was your wall. The instructions for using the ladder say the bottom of the ladder must not be closer than 1.5 metres. So let's assume it's 1.5 metres from, uh, from the bottom of the wall. So this here, let's call this distance here 1.5 metres, 1.5 metres. So the bottom of the ladder must be not 1.5 metres from the wall. And then it says that the ladder is 6 metres long. So the ladder, which is this, is 6 metres long. The question is, how far up the wall can the ladder reach? So we're asked to find this distance, this x distance here. So we've got a right angle triangle. We're working out the shorter side. x is going to equal 6. Write your 6 down. Write your 1.5 down. Square the 2. Because it's the shorter, subtract them. And square root. Calculator out. Square root 6 squared. Take away 1.5 squared equals and you get 5.809. So x is equal to 5.809 meters, etc. We well, you, you want correct to 1 dp, line after the first decimal place. Because that's a zero, keep that as it is. x is equal to 5.8. The unit is meters we've been dealing with. So write meters and underline. You're done. And that's it on Pythagoras.